Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket plugin, bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe because I do these every week, every Friday. We're actually on kind of like a schedule right now. But you have, if you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section or the description section, depending on how I'm referring to it for you new people. So I was supposed to go over Server Hub 9 this week. However, it's uh, the author saying that he's not going to support it anymore. Um, he's not going to update it. So I figured we're going to skip it. Sorry, guys, that wanted to see that. Uh, it does still kind of work in 1.8. As far as I could tell, there's no errors when you fire it up, but uh, I'm not sure how well it works after that. So use it at your own risk, guys. might go away, you know, next update. It might break entirely or borked, as I like to say. Anyway, so this one was supposed to be point shop as well, as you can see on the, um, I think this way, this over here, yes. Uh, point shop but point shop is no longer supported as well and he suggests using boss shop which is actually a bigger plugin and much cooler does a lot more so that's really cool anyway point shop and boss shop were suggested by Archie Griffiths Dukins uh, Wolf Gamer 2000 and Brocky is I don't, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right Minecraft it's made by Block X, and I think it's maintained by. Hold on, let me. I'm not prepared for this. Uh, Confuser. So there's a note saying that Block X is pretty busy, and um, it might be Confuser that'll be replying to you. Anyway, this is a huge plugin. So it does mainly do like a, a, a GUI or GUI for you weird people. Um, shop which is really cool and i know i've done that before but there's more than that in here you can also put in server commands so you can put in a server menu you know so you can switch servers you also put in warps in there and then there's a permission in here where you can hide uh options or menu options for people who don't have the permission for it so you can have like warps show up for only the places that they're allowed to go which is really cool so if you have a prison server for example you can have all the warps made but they can only see the ones that they can get to so that if they're B, they won't be able to see all the other warps kind of a cool option anyway it does do player points but it requires the plugin player points and a little bit of configuration uh goofiness here which i'll show you in a moment it requires an economy plugin. I use Essentials, and there's a 1.8 Essentials link will be in the jibbles uh, to that, as well as the player points. And then Vault 1.5 plus if you're using one point, you know, Spigot 1.8. If you're not using Spigot 1.8, what are you waiting for? Update. Everything's moving to it. Get out of the past. Get in the future. And now I'm gonna stop answering questions in regards to 1.7. So anyway, and then a permissions plugin. So. I highly recommend PEX. It uses it has a little bit of less goofiness with multi-world permissions. So anyway, let's get into showing you guys how to set up shops. Well, first of all, I guess let's show you guys basic layout of it. You could do slash BS or boss shop, which is kind of funny. And then this player points, command points is showing up because we have not set up something correctly. And I'll show you guys that in a moment. But basically, you can click on the buy shop. You can click on stuff you want to buy. So let's see. Um, we can buy five diamonds, and then that takes out 5,000 from us. Um, we can go back. We can uh, click on the developer head, and we get a little head. Once again, we're still getting that player points. I'll show you guys that in a second. You got a point shop, which isn't going to work because we haven't got it configured correctly yet now here's your servers you can click on the servers all, all that stuff which is cool there's no back icon in there so that's really cool this is uh and then yeah it does work with lily pad as well as bungee cord uh depending on how you set those up so anyway and then here's your warps which then you can set those all up in there spells potions then you can also sell items which is really cool so there we go we sold we can sell all of our diamonds back and all of that stuff. So really quick and easy. You can also set up signs, which, um, yeah, I mean, might as well show you guys that now. Let's see. I forget where the signs are because I am smart. Okay, here we go. So you set the sign up and you just do bracket menu. 
Now, if you want that to open a different a different shop, like let's say we wanted to open the the uh, sell shop, you would just put that down there, go sell shop with the brackets around it. And then when you right click on it, it's gonna open directly into that menu rather than the main menu, which is really cool. So that'll make a little more sense as we get into it. And um, I guess before we keep talking about it, let's talk about the permission nodes real quick. So the permission nodes are uh, BossShop.open allows you to open all shops. You can do BossShop.open.sign, which will allow players to open via the sign. BossShop.open.command, which allows you to open through doing, um, sorry, the BS command. And then BossShop.open.command.name. So that will allow them to open up only those shops. Um, so you can like restrict your players to certain shops. You can have a donator only shop, which then has, you know, lower prices, all that stuff. You do boss shop dot open dot other to allow the open the shop for somebody else. Probably going to be a mod or an admin that would be able to do that. You do boss shop dot close, which is to close somebody else's shop that they have open. You do boss shop dot create sign to allow you to create the signs and then reload and check are the last two. So anyway. With all that, let's hop into the uh, configuring these shops. There's a couple ways you can do it. I'll show you this really sweet and easy way to do it. Okay, so here we are in our server. We're gonna go into plugins and then you drop your player points as well as your boss shop jar in this file folder, fire it up and then you're gonna get your boss shop uh, plugin here. So then we have config.yml which is really nice. Um, it's very, lots of explanation, which is really great. We're gonna bring that back up here. A lot of, you know, the author has done a great job annotating all of this, tell you guys how to use all of this stuff, which is really cool. So in here, this is where you can set your points plugin. Right now it's set to auto detect, which does not really work. Um, you can set it in here to use uh, points plugin. So player points would be this or uh, PP, you know, whatever. Um, or I'll show you guys how to do it a different way. Um, you can modify a lot of this stuff. You can disable signs, uh, which effectively disables this plugin entirely. You can have a high player. This is where I was talking about that. You can have a transaction log. You can allow unsafe enchantments, which you probably want to do true. Uh, disable update and notifications, all that stuff. Enable groups. Multiplier kind of is explained up here. I'm not really going to go into it. And also modify your custom messages. I love it whenever a plugin puts this in there, which is super cool. So um, you see that you have the shops uh, folder in here, which you have all of these shops. These are the names of the shops. This is what you put on those signs. So point shop, potion, sell shop, all that stuff. And it has all the information of that shop. Now, if you want to edit it this way, it's pretty straightforward. You can kind of see the options that you have for each one. There's a lot of great examples to go off of. There is, however, a program made by, by the author called uh, Boss Shop Configure, and you can open that up. So basically, you, you download that, you fire that up, and then that's going to open up this. So what you do in here is you select Boss Shop folder, and then you go and you find the plugin, and then there you go, open, and then you load it. It's going to load all the shops that are in there. You hit OK. So here's where you're going to want to select this to player points. This is going to fix that message that we're going to see and allow you to use player points. I don't know why the auto detect doesn't work right now. I don't know. Anyway, from here, you can, you can select any of the shops that you want to edit. So menu is the main top level shop. And uh, you can change the name of that and all that stuff. So then you can modify the items in each one of these. Like I said, this is really straightforward. It's super simple. It's a GUI. You can it's laid out, which then you can modify all that stuff. There's there's shortcuts at the bottom of all of these pages to help you out with stuff. If you want to do any kind of crazy stuff with that, um, here's the item. So you can edit that. You can change the name or the type, the name, all that stuff, uh, lore. And then the special. So if you're gonna, I mean, it's it every web every page of this plugin explains how to use it. It's fantastic. You can click on here and it'll take you to the enchantment IDs that you can use. It'll take you to the potion names, to the item IDs, the website, all that stuff. You hit done and go back, which is super cool. So we're gonna drop down to the point shop. So here we go. Hundred points is gonna cost you a hundred or a thousand bucks. 
Um, it's going to go in the inventory location one. It's going to be a points reward, uh, and it's going to give you 100 points, uh, price type, money, all that stuff. Super cool. And then it also has a back. My, this is basically the GUI layout right here. So let's say we wanted to add the back uh, menu item to the server, uh, the servers, all that stuff. So we're going to go add item. So shop item name. So we're going to do back. And then inventory location, we're going to do, actually, it's not going to be, it's not going to be that. It's going to be, what is it? Uh, that is two, this is eight. So it's going to be, I think it's going to be nine because that would be the end of that. And then, uh, yeah, we could do six, leaving, whoa, I can't type, leaving the server list. So reward type, and then we're going to select shop. So that means it's going to bring us to another shop. And then the reward will be menu. And then the price will be free. And then amount of uses will be zero. So then we can save all that stuff. And then we can reload the plugin. And then that item will show up in there, which is really cool. Like that's really simple. There's You can do a lot more. You can do timed stuff. You can do... Um, player commands time commands money permissions you can you know they can buy certain permissions that kind of stuff you can they can buy commands they can all that stuff super cool like i said this is great you can create a new shop in here and then name it something else um but i would just use the what's already in here as like an example to go off of just kind of like find something that's like what you want to do and then modify it. I'll have links to a lot of supporting web pages, but the author did a great job in laying this out, and there's not a whole lot else for me to go over. So let's hop back into the game and take a look at that back button that we added. Okay, so here we are back in the game. We're gonna do BS reload or boss shop reload, and we're actually gonna put that back on. So now when we do BS, notice there's no point shop notification like that, and we're gonna go into the shops, and then I didn't actually change the item. So anyway, <laughs> we didn't change the item to something. What could we change it to? And then we'll jump out of there and do BS reload, BS, and now we're going to go back into there. And there we go. Just modified that in the GUI really quick and easy. I did that in no time flat, and then it'll take us back to there. So have some fun with it. This does a whole lot of stuff. Modify it. Make it what you want it to be, and it'll be really sweet for you guys. So hopefully that was helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but with this one, you're probably better posting on the author's page. Um, be sure to check the description for any other uh, helpful links to a lot of the information that's used in this tutorial. This is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless.